Alright guys, we are back with another video here with the Galaxy Tab S2 which I just got recently and today we're just gonna do the benchmark uh, review here uh, So let's just uh, start off with uh, Geekbench This will be testing the CPU performance first So this tablet is uh, using the Exynos uh, processor which is the Exynos 5543 It's the same as the Note 4 so uh, I can tell we're not going to expect crazy amount of results but let's just have a look at the benchmark so yeah it's running now and while it's running let's see the speed oh it's quite fast it's going very fast alright guys it's almost done it's at 95 and here we go it's done and it got a score of uh, 1240 in the single core and 4201 on multi core score which is I think is pretty decent it's okay it's not the best so let's take a look at the scores in detail here so we can see multi-core uh, let me zoom in yeah um, it scored very high because it has 8 cores so it's expected but other than that everything is just okay it's not the best but pretty decent respectable score so here we go this is it uh, Geekbench. Okay, now we'll be testing uh, the tablet on the Antutu 2 benchmark because we want to know how the, the graphics performance is and the RAM as well. So let's open up Antutu 2 benchmark. Okay, I'll show you guys the info and you can see it's running Exynos 5433 and also um, the Malai GPU which is a Malai T760. So let's go ahead and test it out. Test. It'll take some time, so I'll be fast holding it uh, for you guys so you don't have to waste your time. So I'll see you guys at the end of the results. Alright guys, so we are done and tablet scored around 56,886 which is roughly around 57,000 It's actually on the lower side, is the score wasn't that really high because I can see during the graphics test it was actually very very laggy and that could be expected because uh, the graphics card on this uh, tablet isn't the best and it's pushing like way a lot of pixels, more than Full HD so that's the reason why the, the score is so low on 3D, you can see. And the CPU performance is okay. It's just the 3D performance is very terrible because it's of that screen. Very high resolution screen. And let's see the rankings for fun. And we are way, way far behind. Look at that. Um, we are around here, number 18. Just above the Zenfone 2 and just slightly behind the Xiaomi Mi 4S not even close to the next uh, to the Galaxy S6 or maybe let's say the Xiaomi Mi 5 which has a crazy high score obviously that's a higher device so yeah so basically this is the results for the Galaxy Tab S2 Guys, that's about it for this video actually, so thank you much for watching this uh, benchmark uh, review overall. Uh, in terms of graphics, this tablet won't perform everything at the best because the graphics card can handle this uh, uh, the amount of pixels you have to push. But in CPU performance, it's very good, it's decent, it's fine. So you, you should perform day-to-day -day tasks without any issue actually with this tablet. So yeah, anyway guys, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video. Peace out.